Found this a while ago and it's just been hanging around. I think I need to do something with it. All right. Maybe if I'm lucky I can get that. Oh, it's moving. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, looks like it's in pretty good shape other than the rust on the outside. So, let's take one of these two. At this point, I kind of have a choice to make. So I've got the, the metal basically down to a smooth area, but there's all these little divots from the rust that was eating into the metal. Now, if I grind it down to all those divots are gone, it'll look beautiful and shiny and smooth, but I'll be taking off so much material, I'm gonna be losing a kind of a significant amount. Like I'm gonna be reducing the weight by a bunch. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna lose a lot of metal. So I think I'm just gonna leave those. I'm not worried about, maybe I'll take a little bit more off, but uh, I'm not gonna worry about getting all these little divots. It's kind of cool anyway. Doesn't that look cool? But it's still kind of smooth. Yeah, it's like smooth on the surface. It's just got all these little divots in it. Yeah. And the divots should be fine. Whoa. This thing was just outside for years. Uh, got salt water on it. Yeah, it was a mess. All right. So the choice here really comes down to, do I want it to be prettier or more, more functional? More functional. And yes, I want it to be more functional. So I don't really care about the divots. Mm -hmm. There is something beautiful about them. Get the middle here, I'll just... This is just motor oil. Right. I think that is pretty good. Go for a handle. Good number things. Oh, Diagonally, that might do it. I think that might do it. This is a very hard piece of wood. This is from a tree that fell over recently. 
and it was termite damage. This section looks fine though. Well then, sir, that looks like it'll fit. Okay, going with this. Right, looks pretty straight. Hmm, power planer? Power planer or hand planer? Hmm. Hand, what? hand planer. You want me to do the hand planer? Alright. Alright, I'll put this against my front door thing here. I can clean up against that. Alright, first I need to knock off all these nubs. It's going in my house. Go Can I do this just by eye without screwing it up? I'll take a chunk there. Just gonna make this thinner. All right, Bellatrix, you tell me if anything start, if anything looks like I'm screwing it up. Is this what you spent the last two days working on? Oh, yeah. cool. Man, nice mittens. Come over here. Whoa. Papa. That is one fancy dress. All right, I don't want to try to circular saw the rest of the way through here. Partly because my circular saw needs a rest and needs to cool down. And trying to get it lined up perfectly all the way through will be kind of tricky. I could take my ax head there and, and knock it in and hope that it splits well, although if it could mess up the whole thing. You know what? I'm going to get a Sawzall and just, I should be able to keep it in that groove and just finish off the cut. Sawzall? What's up? <coughs> Alright, the rest of that went through pretty easy. There's the side pieces over there. And now we can start planing. And a draw knife would be sure useful right now. But I don't have one, and I don't feel like making one just for this. This is the blade for a hand planer. We're going to get it nice and sharp. Don't put your finger on it. No, oh, don't put your foot in here. You know what? Let's get the bark off. Mm -hmm. Gonna be able to peel it off. You know, this bark sticks pretty well. Yeah. You wanna get the bark off? Okay. Where's your machete? Can you what? Can you what on the flat part? I 
remembered I have this thing, which is the best carving implement I've ever had. It was originally four feet long total. Sword I made a long time ago. And uh, it was so good that I started using it as an axe and eventually broke it. But the, actually, the piece that, it, that broke off, I made a short sword with. And this just became a really good carving tool. When I made it, I had access to a kiln that had electronic temperature control so I could heat treat the metal like perfectly. I haven't sharpened this thing in like over a decade. It's like razor sharp stuff. figure out what to do around this knot. Maybe I just leave a fatter spot there. I have to be careful with this because it's a lot easier to take material off than it is to put material on. Tight fit. Look a little bit too tight. Great! Have to get used to the length. Right there. This is the first axe I've ever used that actually feels long enough. What 
testing it. I don't have a tree I'm ready to cut down right now, but when I do, I'm using this. 